G'day my fellow media collectors and welcome to the comic book movie collector's guide your show about collecting all things superhero cinema I'm your host Troy and today it celebrates the show's two-year anniversary here on YouTube so I thought we will have a little get to know you session with a little Q&A and then I will give you a bit of a channel update with what I have planned for 2023 so so much to talk about what do you say we get into it? So, yes, this is the show's two-year anniversary. <laughs> Yay. Uh, of when I actually posted the first comic book movie collector's guide review on the 4th of December 2020, which was Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles DVD review, which I'll just have up here. And, oh my God, it was terrible. Look, please don't watch it. <laughs> I really don't know what I was doing then. Honestly, I didn't. But I like to think that I have got better since then. Well, at least I think I have anyway. <laughs> and I'm always, look, I'm always trying to improve and do better on my videos to make them a little more insightful and entertaining for you. So hopefully, you know, you'll keep coming back and watching me each week. Why do we watch it? Why do you watch it? So for this video, I thought I would do maybe a little Q&A session so you can get to know me a little better. And man, you know, sort of like a bit of what goes on behind the scenes about the channel. And after that, I'm going to give you an update of what I've got going on and what I have planned for this channel in 2023. So what do you say we get on with the uh, questions and see what the first one is? Okay, so you'd be surprised how many times I've been asked this question, and that is, where are you from? And I am from Australia. Yes, Australia. Um, you'd be surprised how many people ask me, are you from New Zealand? Are you from England? Are you from, you know, I'm surprised how many people ask me where I'm from. I thought my thick Australian accent would give it away, let alone the fact that I usually have everything up here and everywhere going in Australian dollars when I talk prices. So I thought that might have gave it away. But anyway, yeah, you'd be surprised. Uh, so yeah, I am from Australia and I live in a little small country town, no more than seven or 8,000 people, I think at last census, I think it was. Um, yeah, so very small little community. And I live here with my wife and my two beautiful daughters. And my eldest daughter is pregnant and soon to give me a little granddaughter. Probably by the time you watch this video, I will be a grandfather. So I am very stoked with that. So yeah, that's where I'm from. I'm from Australia. So how long have I been a comic book fan? Well, it's kind of a two-parter. So. Uh, I remember when I was like four or five, I used to watch the Super Friends all the time on morning TV. And then of an afternoon, there used to be reruns of the Batman 66 TV series back in the early 80s. And um, yeah, I think that's where my love of superheroes came from, and especially Batman from those shows. Um, but I, I mean, I always liked superheroes. And, and then it wasn't until I kind of hit uh, 15 or 16 and I rediscovered comic books. Uh, and that's when I just went head first in and become a mad comic book fan and pretty much haven't stopped since then. So probably the last, what, 31 years I've been a collector and fan and just, yeah, just absolutely soaked in everything I could. Um, yeah, I remember my first comic that I ever bought was Punisher 40, oh, it's 41 or two or something. I'll put a photo of it up here. That was the first comic I ever bought. It's because I watched the Dolph Lundgren Punisher. Uh, and I remember seeing that there was a comic out there about it and thought, oh, I might have a look at that. And as soon as I read that comic, that it, I was hooked. And that's it. I didn't, haven't stopped loving comic books since then. So yeah, I've been a comic book fan for a very long time. So how long have I been collecting comic book movies? Um, Oh, I've probably been collecting them for a while. I used to get them all. I used to get a lot of stuff on VHS back in the day. But as far as this collection goes, this DVD and Blu-ray and all that sort of stuff, I'm pretty sure it was somewhere around 1998, 99, once DVDs really started hitting the market. I literally ran out and bought a DVD player. 
Um, and that was it. Once I got the DVD player, then the comic book movies started rolling in. So, oh, geez, probably roughly, so what's that, about 23, 24 years I've been putting this collection together. Um, sort of on and off to begin with in the early days, because there wasn't like a great deal of stuff out there at the time. Um, and it's probably more so, probably in the last five to six years where I've been like hardcore collecting, like you see now where I'm buying anywhere from 15 to 20 movies a month, um, that type of stuff. So it's probably really sort of really serious about my collection, really probably in the last five or six years. Um, no, I don't collect comic books anymore. I used to, uh, like I said, Back when I was about 16, I bought my first one and I did not stop. And it was like crack to me, honestly. Um, I was buying almost every Marvel and DC title there at one stage every month. I was, I was literally working my ass off to get money so I could buy more comic books. Um, I was just that obsessed with it back in the 90s. Um, yeah, to, to say I think I had close to... Oh, I don't know, maybe four or 5,000 comic books at one stage. Um, yeah, I had a pretty decent collection with some really stellar stuff. Um, do I collect them anymore? No, I stopped collecting comics probably, oh, it's probably about 17 years ago, I think I really stopped. Once I got married and started having kids and your uh, disposable income really dries up then because you've got kids to look after and a mortgage to pay. So you've got to sort of, you know, some things have to go to the wayside. So I sold a lot of my comic book collection, but I did keep my Amazing Spider-Man collection uh, because that one I put a lot of work into and there is a lot of value in that. I've got some really good gems in there. Um, so yeah, I've kept them for my, my girls. They can sell them later on or whatever and make a mozza out of them. Uh, but for me, there's a bit more sentimental value to keep them. But uh, yeah, as far as collecting comic books anymore, no, I've transitioned to a comic book movies. What else do I collect? Um, well, my wife would say everything. <laughs> I'm a bit of a hoarder. Um, but no, no, specifically, um, I do collect action figures. I've always been a big action figure fan. Because um, I was a kid of the 80s, if you know, you know what it was like, you had your... I'm a big Master Universe fan. I've got a pretty decent Master Universe collection, especially the original, the AG stuff. Um, and then I've got I've got dribs and drabs of other stuff. Would love the Super Friends, uh, the Super Friends, the Super Powers collection. Sorry, uh, which is what the Super Friends was based off. Um, so I've got a lot of Super Powers stuff um, that I love. Uh, the occasional bit of Star Wars stuff, wrestling figures, uh, especially the early 80s stuff that I grew up with. I've got a lot of 80s wrestling, uh, the little um, little figures there. And I also collect pop vinyls. I've fallen into that trap. So I've got a decent collection of pop vinyls as well. Me and my daughter both collect pop vinyls. Um, and probably the other thing that I do collect is uh, there's an Australian band called the Super Jesus who I'm a huge fan of and I collect CDs of theirs. So all their music they've released uh, rare copies overseas copies all that type of stuff and that's actually quite a decent collection there which I'm thinking of doing a video of uh, for Super Jesus fans I thought some people out there would be interested to see what you can get um, so yeah that's pretty much what I collect I mainly focus on my DVD collection but I'm always picking up odds and ends of pop vinyls or action figures etc on the side so uh, yeah probably spending way too much money <laughs> on these things. But yeah, that's what else I collect. So look, I've never done YouTube before. This is my first forte in YouTube, but I have done some other things, uh, some other shows. Uh, the first one I did was back in 2013 with a good mate of mine, Jim, and we did a radio show together. Now, don't get excited, it wasn't like a nationwide radio show it was a community radio show uh, which became one of the most popular shows on the channel uh, due to um, there was nothing like this out there and that was it was called the fist full of metal radio show with troy and jim now uh, as you can guess it's all about heavy metal and hard rock uh, i'm a mad mad metal head uh and that's if you know if anyone knows me you know well, there's two things that define me my heavy metal music and my love of superheroes. Um, so yeah, 
we did that for a bit over 12 months before our, our work sort of changed and we couldn't do it anymore, but had an absolute blast and really enjoyed it. And that's where I cut my teeth on like putting together a show and getting all the ideas and content and all that sort of stuff together and absolutely loved it. Uh, you can still hear about six months worth of the show I, we managed to record and we put it up on Mixcloud. The audio is not great, but it's still listenable. Um, yeah, so if you look us up on Mixcloud, you'll be able to have a listen to it if you want to see what it was about. Uh, and the next thing I did uh, was a podcast. It was called the Book of Rock Podcast uh, in 2019. Again, with my mate Jim. Our, we managed to reconnect a few years later and uh, I put to him, why don't we, instead of doing a radio show, let's do a podcast. So we did a podcast. And that seemed to take off as well. That was going gangbusters, actually. That was really starting to take off. Um, and then the pandemic hit and then we couldn't get together and record. So, uh, it kind of killed it off. Unfortunately, um, the goddamn pandemic killed a lot of things. Uh, but there is over 12 months worth of stuff there again. Um, and it's all on Spotify still. It's disappeared from everywhere else, but, um, you can still somehow Spotify kept it. So if you want to listen to that, Go check it out on Spotify. Uh, I'm, I might even put a picture, a pictures up here of the radio show and the podcast here if you're looking for it. Um, but yeah, that was an absolute blast too, and uh, such some good content there. If you love, if you love your rock and heavy metal, honestly, go check it out. I, I don't know I'm biased, but yeah, I think we did a pretty good job. But uh, yeah, they're the other two things that I've kind of done. That's kind of like this. Oh, why did I start this channel? Oh God, what a question. Um, <laughs> well, I've got to go back to COVID, I suppose. COVID was one of the initial things is because when that killed the podcast, as I said in the last question, um, I don't know, I, I feel I'm a content creator. I want to make things. I can't just sit around. I'm not someone who is really a viewer of things. Like I'm more someone who wants to create stuff, even though this show is about watching things. But <laughs> you get what I mean. I'm very much someone who loves projects and doing things. I can't. I'm not someone to sit still. So uh, when when the podcast finished because of COVID hit, I kept thinking to myself, oh, "What can I do now?" And I thought to myself, "Wow, I collect these DVDs and that. Maybe there are some other people out there that do the same thing too." So I looked up YouTube and there wasn't a show like this. So I thought to myself, I was sure there was heaps of like, you know, physical media collectors. I noticed there was a lot of horror and there was a lot of like everything, but no one was specifically talking about collecting superhero movies like this. So I thought there's a niche, there's an opening. Why not put the show out there? I want to put a show out there that I wanted to watch. And hopefully there was people out there who wanted to watch it as well. And from the fact that, you know, this channel has been growing quite steadily over the last two years, seems there is a lot of you out there who love the same thing as well. So that's pretty much why I did it. I wanted to see if there are other people out there like me that just collected superhero movies in general and just love the whole genre in itself. Uh, so yeah, and as I found out, I've started to make some really great friends out of this and, um, trying to build a bit of a community, a bit of a collector's community. So that's pretty much why I started it. It's because there wasn't one there and I wanted to watch one. How long does it take to make a video? Well, this is a question I get asked. Uh, I've been asked by family, friends and, and a few people and they're always curious as to like, how long does it take to make a, I think, as you've, most of you know, it's anywhere between 10 to 13 minutes, most videos. Um, and you might think to yourself, well, if it's only 10 to 13 minutes, geez, it mustn't take long to make. Well, I'll break it down for you and I'll just write it down here on the list. So first off is you review either the movie or TV series. So depending on that, we're gonna just use a movie as an example. So we'll round it out at two hours. So there's your first two hours watching the movie. Then I sit down and write a script of go through everything and do. So that's script and research. So that's photos, 
um, all the information I find up, you know, read websites and stuff, and then finally write the script. And that can take up to about three hours to do, two to three hours to do, depending on how much you can find or how much is out there. Or sometimes I, I have to admit, I do get a bit of writer's block and I struggle sometimes, but yeah, you will do, we'll average it out about two to three hours for a script. Then you've got to record. So that can take up to an hour, depending, usually, um, to pull the curtain back a little bit, I sometimes do, I record a couple of episodes back to back, um, but then it still involves setting up my, this setup I have here, uh, lights and the backdrop and getting all everything set up. Um, so that can take an hour or more depending on, on how many episodes I record at once. Um, then this is where your big chunk of time is, is editing. And that can take anywhere from five to six hours to edit all that together. Uh, unlike some people's videos who just sit and record um, them talking or whatever else, that probably doesn't take long to edit. But if you've ever watched any of my videos, there's a lot of cuts and extra scenes and, and it's in like seven parts. All that takes time and all the little extras that I throw in, which I love doing, don't get me wrong, I love sitting in front of the computer and creating this, but honestly, six hours would probably be a good time. It can take more in some occasions, up to eight or nine hours, depending um, if there's a lot of content that I have to put in the videos. So, but we'll average it out at five to six for the moment. And then of course there's creating the thumbnail, writing all the stuff down, posting it, uh, and all that type of stuff, which I've rounded out to about an hour. So on average, for just 13 minutes of content you get to watch, I have to put in 12 to 14 hours per episode. And when you work a 40 hour week like I do, honestly, you really are stretching to use every little bit of spare time you have to do it. And I look, I love every minute of it, don't get me wrong. And my wife is very understanding, very, very understanding. Love you, darling. <laughs> so yeah, that is how long it takes to get an episode together. Oh, my goals for the channel. Um, well, I mean, the first goal I really had was to build a community of collectors and make some new friends. And that is already happening. I've made some friends all around the world. Uh, from each side of the globe so far and even here in Australia. So um, yeah, that's that's what I'm, you know, putting some good content out there, helping people with uh, their passion, shall we say, and helping them find things that they may not even know about. And hell, the community out there has helped me find stuff that I didn't know about. So that that in itself is worth it you know uh so hopefully we can all inform each other and help each other build our own collections um as far as the actual channel goes uh for me at the moment it's to get to 500 subs that's um that's probably my short term goal i'd like to get to a nice 500 like for me that would be a good good thing so look if you haven't subscribed subscribe right now <laughs> quick plug <laughs> anyway but my long-term goal, obviously, is to get over a 1,000 subscribers and uh, hopefully a little extra loose change coming my way to help me buy some of these DVDs and Blu-rays. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my long-term goal is to get to that 1,000 subscribers so I can uh, have a little money from YouTube coming in so I can buy this stuff so I can show you and, uh, yeah, just make some friends and build a bit of a community. So I have some plans for next year, and that is to add two new different types of videos to the channel. And the first one is like a complete guide video that covers everything that was released for superhero cinema in a certain year. So I'm gonna start back, back in the 1930s when they first started coming out, and then do each year after that, you know, working my way through till now. Uh, so look, I'll, look, I've got a little preview video here just to give you a taste of what it might actually look like.
like I said, that's just a little bit of a test video I've mocked up uh, just to sort of see what it's going to look like. So it's, it may change by the time uh, you get to see like the proper one, but you know, that's roughly what it's going to look like. And I'm hoping this will give people like a definitive guide and research tool for anyone like who's putting together a collection of superhero and comic book cinema. Now, I have no solid timeline on this video as I'm just working on it at the moment uh, yet, but just keep your eyes out and I will mention it and hopefully you will see it soon in the new year. Another lot of videos I am looking at doing is some collaboration videos with some other YouTubers, viewers, and really anyone else who also loves to watch and collect superhero cinema on physical media and really loves to talk about their passion for this stuff like I do. Um, so yeah, same goes with this video. I'm in the midst of working it out, schedules and all this sort of stuff. Uh, so hopefully I will have something soon for you to watch next year. Now, time to pull back the curtain and give you a look at a little bit of behind the scenes. Now, uh, there's one thing that I have going on at the moment is that I'm converting my shed where I record this show into more of like a man cave where I'll be able to build myself uh, some more permanent display shelves for my movie collection and also for my toys and pop vinyls. Uh, now, I'm hoping to use this as my new backdrop too instead of this, po this old poster. Um, so look, here's a couple of shots of the current progress of, of it going along. Uh, look, it's still a lot of work as, as you can see, uh, but hopefully I will get this done in the coming months. And I may even do a video on the process and then give you a rundown of the final thing when it turns out, which I'm hoping is gonna turn out awesome. Now, the most important thing I wanna do in this video is thank each and every one of my subscribers out there who watches the show on a weekly basis. Look, I really do appreciate it, I really do. And even all of those of you who don't, who watch the show on a weekly basis but aren't subscribed, you know, it wouldn't hurt if you hit that subscribe button. You know, it helps the channel out, trust me. Um, but as much as I do want to thank everyone individually, there are a couple of people here that I do want to give a special shout out to as these people have been big supporters of my channel over the last couple of years. Now, the first one I want to be, send a big thank you to is to Steph, who has been watching this show since day one. Thank you so much, Steph, for your support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, the next big thanks I want to send out is to a couple of top blokes out there and fellow YouTubers. First off is to Rob at Roberto Nero Superheroes and, of course, Dell at Dell on Movies. Always there in the comments for every video. Thanks so much, fellas. Look, I always look forward to your comments. And I want to send a big thanks out uh, to a new subscriber, Kane, a fellow Aussie and big media collector himself who loves watching the show and has been helping me track down some DVDs for my collection. So thanks, mate. I really do appreciate it. So again, thank you so much, everyone, for watching and, you know, giving your support. It means the world to me. And look, I really look forward to keep giving you the content you love to watch into 2023. You guys are awesome! Hey, so if you like this video, I've got a whole heap of other videos you might like. What if you check out this one? This is my collection updates. Or oh, maybe you want to see some of my reviews. Got that covered too? Why don't you click that one there? And of course, don't forget to do the most important thing, and that's throw me a bat like, and don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you all next time.